Kim from Expressions of the Universe here with your weekly wisdom for June 25th through July 1st. So how are you making out with the new moon and the sun in Cancer? I predicted that things could be really emotional over the next 30 days and we should be very mindful of our feelings and our emotions and nurture them and do whatever it takes to soothe that baby, the baby that is you. And these cards are pretty evident of that same energy. So let's get started. The angel card that I picked for you for this week is Death. And it is a random pick. And what this is saying to me is we really need to go deep and explore our feelings and our emotions on a very deep level and I know that that is not always the most fun to do um, a lot of people like to avoid their feelings I know I'm very good at doing that that's the Gemini part of me and I can shut my feelings off but it's so unhealthy because when we're not paying attention to the way we feel we're really not getting what we want um, so do whatever it takes to soothe and nurture yourself this week, even, you know, throughout life. And explore your feelings. You know, figure out why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Because if things are feeling off, they're usually not in your best interest. You know, so pay attention to your feelings and honor them. And, you know, follow what feels good. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. Well, I mean, I could talk about feelings forever because the way we feel also dictates what we law of attract. So if you're feeling crappy, you're going to attract more crap. And when you're feeling good, you are like a magnet that is attracting really great things to yourself. So if you are feeling horrible, you want to explore why you're feeling horrible and change your situation. Change the way you're doing things. Change the way that you're thinking. Um, also, you know, maybe change up some of the people in your life. If there are certain people that are making you feel horrible about yourself, then those people, those situations, those places do not belong in your life. All right. So the first card that I have for you, which will be for today and to tomorrow, is very interesting. Ling, I can't talk. It's moonlight. And so if you saw the other day, I posted moon card about the new moon and what that energy is, that illusionary energy. But this is saying pay attention to your intuition because Cancer, the crab, it's a water sign along with Pisces and Scorpio but that is when our intuition is heightened when the Sun and the moon are in water signs we um, our psychic antennas are very heightened and so pay attention to our dreams pay attention to your gut feelings since this is the month of feelings you want to pay attention to these things because you're being guided by a higher source that is kind of showing you little signs along the way as to the direction that you need to go in and that's what this moonlight is about so a couple of weeks ago when I was in Maine this card field of dreams came up this will be for the Tuesday Wednesday card and field of dreams indicates all of your new moon wishes are just a hands grasp away however it's all about your thoughts and paying attention to your thoughts and I think this is going to um, pull in around the five degree of cancer today I think we're in that three to four degree cancer five degree cancer is all about how you feel about your thoughts so if you have been talking negatively about yourself and you're not happy about the thoughts that you're having about yourself like even your your body image um, 
the thoughts of, you know, your current life situation, when you are thinking negatively, the, the field that you're setting, those dreams and those wishes, are on the negative realm. Remember that our thoughts and our feelings are connected to the law of attraction. So, you want to make sure that you are soothing yourself. If you are having negative thoughts, you want to tell yourself, stop, and maybe do something else or think something else. Take a couple of breaths to try and shut that down. Exercise, uh, garden work, you know, busy work, cleaning the house, different things. That will also shift your energy. And I also always promote taking a nap or going to sleep because that immediately shuts down uh, that conscious mind that is constantly overthinking, overfeeling. It's the best way to reset your mind, reset your field of law of attraction. So the card that I have coming in for Wednesday, Thursday is protecting treasure. What is your most valuable treasure? And I'm not talking about materialistic things. I'm talking about intangible things. Um, I say that your most, my most, uh, valuable treasure is myself and it's my soul and it is my thoughts and my feelings and these are the things that we want to protect. Think about the crab of cancer and they have that hard protective shell so they can stay protected. They're putting up boundaries around themselves. They're putting up boundaries around their feelings. Are your feelings your most protected treasure? Are your thoughts your most protected treasure? When you find yourself protecting what is most valuable to you, and it could be your family and your friends, um, I can't, I, I just went blank. When you are protecting what is valuable to you, know that you're also being guided by the angels and the divine to also send in further reinforcements to help protect yourself and your most valuable treasure. And then finally, the Thursday card, because you know I will pick a surprise Friday card, is Heal the Ouch. And this came up also a couple of weeks ago when I was in Maine. And this is really speaking to nurturing ourselves, taking care of ourselves first. You know, it kind of goes hand in hand. Let me grab this little little depth card. It goes hand in hand with depth and digging deep into what is emotionally triggering you, what is hurting you from deep within. Because we want to take care of these deep wounds so that we can go out and enjoy life. You don't want to be sitting around for the rest of your life rehashing these old wounds. This is also about forgiveness. Anybody that has hurt you in the past, go ahead and mentally forgive them. Send them love from your heart chakra and just be done with it. You don't have to go back and engage with these people. Forgiveness also is not a hall pass um, or condoning anything that someone has done that has hurt you, but also to know that when people hurt you, that's their crap, and the way you respond, that's yours. So if you want to be vindictive and revengeful, or you want to hold the grudge, you know, for all eternity, that's on you. That's like drinking poison and hoping that the other person dies when you hold that grudge. Just remember that. So Heal the Ouch is really about nurturing our souls this week. Uh, get out into the ocean if you can. If you can't, a nice salt bath with some candles and bubbles and uh, some essential oils or fresh herbs in the bath. That will also help heal the ouch. And I'm going to go back to the crystals that I picked a couple of days ago when I was feeling really, really crappy, I had to drive home from work and grab some crystals because I just felt like I wanted to kill somebody. And yes, 
no matter how zen you are and no matter how grounded you are, it will happen. So I went home and I grabbed my lithium. Lithium, you know that they give the lithium in pill form to people that have severe depression. And, you know, their thoughts are going all over the place, manic depressives, whatever. Um, I put this in my bra. I'm telling you, it really works. I don't know if, if it's a placebo. If it is, I don't care because I felt better within 30 minutes. And then, of course, my green tourmaline because green tourmaline has a high concentration of lithium in it. So, and then there's some clear quartz in there, so that'll give me some clarity. And then some black tourmaline because this puts up protection around yourself to block out negative energy. And so if you are an empath and you're feeling other people's energy, I don't care if you label yourself as an empath or not. I think that we all feel each other's energy. Think about animals. It has been said that animals can feel our human energy and emotion from 55 to 75 feet away. So if you're approaching an animal out in the wild, for example, and you're fearful, fearful of that animal, they will feel that fear. And they'll know that they can attack you because they're feeling your fear. If you're a friendly, happy person, that animal will be like, oh, okay, it's a person, and most likely will walk away from you. Um, that's why, like, you know, animals, kittens and cats and puppies and puppy dogs, if animals don't generally like you, it's because they're feeling your energy. And if you don't even have to be an animal person, but, um, you know, conversely, if you're a happy person and you're emoting that really great higher energy, then animals are going to be naturally attracted to you. I, I'm almost like a little bit of a Snow White. I could stand out here and put my hands out and I can't even tell you how many birds will fly into my hand or butterflies and um, dragonflies. So, but I love animals. I love the natural world. So that's all I have for you for this week. I hope you have a beautiful week. We're experiencing great weather here. I don't know if you can hear all the birds outside chirping. My pups are out here nice and calm and quiet today. I love it. And that's all I have for you. Be sure to tune in Monday through Friday so that you can get the in-depth meaning of these cards. And that's all. So peace and blessings. I love you. Have a great week. And I'll see you next week. Bye.